Hello everyone. Today you'll have to excuse me because I'm kind of losing my voice completely here. Um, but I'm going to review this new vacuum cordless vacuum clean out that I purchased. Um, and I'm going to give you a few tips that I found out. I've owned it for nearly two weeks. Let's show you the box. It's not a very big box if you see my hand because it all comes very well packed. It also has the instructions manual which and the guarantee which to be honest I haven't even looked at because you're not going to need to perhaps we'll do when I need the filters changing ETC it also comes with a vis for you to put your vacuum on the wall and they've actually thought of everything because you've got the screws and um, the screws and the plugs as well the wall plugs now when I first had the vacuum, I thought, oh my God, it comes with a European plug. So, I got myself an adapter from Amazon. And then I thought, oh my God, this has a back connection. Because it, can you hear it? It does. So, what happened? I used to put it on charge, and then um, it wouldn't charge, other times it would. So, I wasn't too happy. Then I realised, when I went to put the box in the bin, that it came with this and I thought oh dear okay what on earth is this now I might be the thickest person on earth I don't know but I'll try to open this because it says lock towards that side open towards this side and I was trying to turn this and no literally all you do I actually actually had a fight with these two there's a little push button here okay so you press that and then you turn and it comes off now, I literally thought you had to jank it off and it wasn't coming off and I could have probably broke the thing. But no, all you do is press the little button, turn it around on the open position. I don't know if the camera actually picks that up. And it comes off. And then here we go with the UK one and turn it to the lock position. And that's secure. That goes straight in your socket. You don't need an adapter. It's been thought of. Right, now the vacuum itself. The vacuum is really compact, as you can see by the rubbish it has inside. Um, we've usually, uh, we used it um, widely. <laughs> we've used it nearly two weeks now. And what I do, I usually have it with this adapter, which is super easy to put on, um, to pick up the little bits um, that my robot vacuum leaves around, because it does. You also have this little brush let me see, there we go, which I have to say, when the girl's hair it gets tangled, you just nice, you can pull them off uh, very easily and just put them in the bin. There we go. We can also use it like this, sorry, <laughs> like this. This little brush, this part is actually, it moves. This is great um, to use for the stairs. Okay. Then you push the red button. Bear with me, I just I am sorry. There we go. It's my nails. Can't do anything with them. You also have this one which has the opening or the brush. There again. You pull here. This is great for sofas, ETC. And obviously you can use the vacuum with its full length by putting the arm on first so here's me holding it the arm and then whichever of the adapters the brushes that you want you can use that one you can use this one or the little one or of course the big one which is the normal one we're all used to the head moves Let's turn it around. Now this one, no, hold on. <laughs> As it turns around, not turn it on, it's because I have it upside down so it kind of touches the button. Um, this roller is great for carpet, but it also comes with this soft roller. Let me see, there we go, which is good for wooden floors and tiles. I haven't used that brush because with this one I do my kitchen and everything. 
Now, the cordless vacuum itself, to show you, it's a 22.2 volt, so that's 2,200 amps. Um, what I like is that it has 14 kPa of suction power and on the normal one, because on the button here, let me see if I can, you've got on and off, and then just above it, more suction, less suction. More suction, less suction. What I like most about this vacuum is how light it is. The suction, 14 kPa on normal mode or 22 kPa on the um, stronger mode. To be honest, I can't say the name, but it is the same suction powers as vacuum cleaners, cordless vacuum cleaners that are costing three times what this one cost me. So um, I also chose this one because it has the spare batteries, the spare filters, spare brushes, everything on the store. So it's not a one time off purchase. Okay, you charge it through here and it's at the back with this on. And obviously, now that we know, just change the three pin plug. Um, to empty it, it's extremely easy. It, it, that's just me. Okay, so you've got the. Um, all you do is just press on the red button. The whole thing comes off. So press on the red button like this. It comes off, and then you simply go to your um, to the bin, turn it, and empty it. This can be cleaned super easily. I have found it sometimes dust gets stuck there, but it is very easy to clean. Here you've got another filter. Let me put it back on. This can be, whoops, sorry. <laughs> the filter's there. You just pull it out and you've got HPA filter there. This one you can also wash. So, great suction power, amazing price. I'm very, very happy with the price. You've got all the spares and it comes with a lot of bits. You can actually change the brush directly on here. Also very easy to do. You've got here the lock if you want it open. It simply lifts and then from here, without having nails like mine, you pull the brush off. So if I can do it, anyone can. Probably my kids can. My favourite part, besides how affordable it is, and obviously that I'm getting good, you know, good quality for the price that I've paid, which is minimum uh, for a cordless vacuum, is the fact that it's so light. So when the kid, I ask the kids to help me vacuum little bits. Here I am having another argument. That's just me. There we go. <laughs> okay, so you put the, this part first, and then the other one clicks. Um, is that it's super light, so the kids can just pick it up, do it. Yes, I could do my car. Um, minimum time it's going to run, it's 20 minutes, and that's on the turbo, on the 22 kPa, so we can't complain. And here we've got the charge. It has three lights, and it shows you at all times where the battery's at when you turn it on. Right now it's full. So I am very happy to charge. It can take four to six hours um, to fully charge. But as I say, I'm extremely happy with my purchase. Kids like it, especially because it's ever so light. Very manageable and affordable. So, you know, it's a thumbs up for us. Thanks very much for watching.